If it doesn't go okay, we'll just edit it out. I don't know how to edit. Hi, I'm kidding. Elizabeth Hansen, and welcome to Keto Confab. This is our first meeting of Keto Confab, and it's been hard to get the word out that we are going to be having the meeting this week. Um, we were originally supposed to start on Oxo October 6th and go for 12 weeks, but unfortunately, we got COVID and um, we're unable to do it. Um, but we both recovered, yay. And um, so this is our first meeting. And this gentleman to my, I think, left um, is my husband, Scott. Um, who's also yeah, a I'm keto person. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the one that's waiting. <laughs> anyway, so um, uh, uh, this um, keto support meeting is um, being scheduled and managed on the Facebook page, uh, Keto Continuum. And so I'm going to share my, um, my screen. So you can see that. So this is the web page for Keto Continuum, and you can go to this uh, Facebook page. Uh, um, hold on, it's uh, okay. There it is. Now it's up. Okay, sorry. It, it took a little while for the screen to share to get up. Yeah, now okay. I can see it. Um, so you can go to Keto Confab on uh, Facebook at any time. Leave me messages. Um, I like to link. Um, inspiring things or uh, new videos from Dr. Boz on this page. I sometimes go and give updates on like uh, blood work or weight loss or stories um, that might come in. And um, so pretty much anything keto you will find on this page, this Facebook page, uh, just give us a follow and a like. Hopefully it will be um, sending out notifications to people uh, for meetings each week. This meeting will happen every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. It doesn't matter what time zone you're in. It's 7 p.m. Central every Wednesday. And we're going to go for 10 weeks. Originally, I had planned to go for 12 weeks so that everybody could really get going on their keto program um, and really feel solid in things. Um, before the holidays hit, because the holidays are a difficult time. But, you know, life happened. So um, here, here's the link for the Zoom. This link will be on here, and you can always go there and find um, the link to get in. You just click see more. Let's see if they will do it when I'm in this mode. Yeah, there it is. And then here's the, the link for the Zoom meeting. That should take you to this meeting every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Central. Okay. And um, there, like I said, there are links to Dr. Boz. I will put up some links to some other doctors uh, that have some good information, like Dr. Kim Berry or Dr. Eric Berg um, or other things. Um, but right now I like to focus on here to go look and um, you can always find the information about this meeting in this little box as well. Um, a confab is an informal or private conversation or discussion. And that's really what I want these meetings to be. I want us to be a community that gets together to support each other in good times and in bad um, when we're not doing so well on our keto and when we're doing okay on our keto and when we're doing fantastic. When we have scale victories and non-scale victories and we, when we've fallen off the wagon. I want this to be a, a community for us. I don't know how to go back to the. Um, um, I think I think you go back to screen share again, and you. Um, how do you, I do that? You hit. Um, okay, well, when. When you put your cursor down at the bottom of your screen, do you do, oh, do the buttons come up? Oh, yes, something comes up. Okay. Okay. So yep. um, since I'm in screen share and I'm not really expert at Zoom, I will share a couple of other things before I go back to the regular screen. So the first thing I'd like to share, let me know when it's up, Scott. It's here. Yep. Yeah, okay. It. 
this is Dr. Boz's website, and this is where you can go to look at her store and also to sign up for either of her classes. Scott and I have taken these two classes. They were yep. both very good. Um, the consistently keto class is a basic one, two, three of how to really get onto keto and get onto it well so that you don't have the keto flu or keto problems. It answers a lot of questions and it helps you get consistent with your keto journey and can really help you avoid a lot of problems with keto that, that make a lot of people give up. And so if, if you're able, I think it would be great if you could sign up for the class. Um, I'm not sure what the price is right now. Um, might be down here at the bottom. Um, I think since I've already purchased it, it doesn't show what the price was. Now for the brains class, I went in with some other people. Scott and I went in with other people. So the class to purchase it for yourself is that $2,500 number. But if you can get in, there are always groups of people who are starting a new rotation in the brains class. This is also an excellent class. Um, anyway, I'd like to show you Dr. Boz's store as well. She doesn't have a ton of products, but she does have products. And these are products that can support you um, in your, these are available. Of course, there are other keto stuff, but um, so suggest that. And then the keto um, BHB that has stevia in it, of course, the classes and the keto diet guide. Um, and um, there are some more, I just think they're not, oh, maybe I have to put this. Yes, there we go. And um, then the BHB capsules and the powder and um, other things. I don't use any of these products, not because they're not good, but because I have an allergy to stevia and many of these have stevia. So if you have an allergy to stevia, these products probably are not for you, except for um, the BHB capsules do not have stevia in them. So you could use those. Unfortunately though, I have a very sensitive heart and my heart will race or flutter a little bit when I take very many of these. So I don't take them very often, um, but you can look through her products and her classes and uh, really uh, see what she has. The other thing is the Chronometer app as an app on your, this one is not one that I use for myself. This I use to check things for client now, but this is for following macro. Um, you can put in a food and see um, carbs and all the vitamins, how they work out and minerals, lipids and proteins. And maybe Scott wants to say a little bit about how surprised he was about some of the healthy foods that he was eating a lot of. Um, and when he put them into chronometer, he was kind of surprised about their, their carb number yeah, and their yeah. you know, lack of variety. Right. I always thought that, that onions have a, a little bit of uh, oil in them um, for some reason, but they, they don't, they don't have any, any oil. Uh, they've, they've got, you know, a lot of carb. Um, the other thing I was surprised by is that onions don't really have very many nutrients in them, at least not the macronutrients. And actually I was surprised by the fact that apples and oranges and bananas and uh, zucchini uh, and squash and things like that don't really have very many macronutrients in them. They, 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 they may have, you know, antioxidants and micro stuff like that, you know, but, but there's a lot of nutrients that they just don't have much of. Uh, uh, and so, you know, I, it, especially when you compare them to like an egg uh, or, or fish or, um, well, actually, you know, beef or chicken or turkey, something like that, you know, um, and so, you know, I was kind of surprised by, by that. Uh, but, you know, the, I mean, other things like you know, spinach, spinach and um, kale and, and pretty much any greens, you know, uh, actually have quite a per gram, uh, a lot more than an apple or an orange. Uh, so, it, I mean, I'd encourage you to go to chronometer uh, on a regular basis and see, you know, see how they stack up nutritionally. Yeah, um, I find the chronometer to be um, a really good tool, um, not just for myself, but for my clients. And um, 
it was really eye-opening and there is a free setting you don't need to pay for it every month or once a year if you do want to go with the gold setting that allows you to make your own recipes so let's say you had a meatloaf um, that was your grandma's recipe and you'd like to try and take it keto um, using the chronometer's ability to make a recipe um, with the gold plan uh, is very helpful. And um, so anyway, I'm going to end the share. Let me know when we're back. Yeah, we're back. Okay. Um, so uh, since no one joined us tonight, it's just the two of us, I thought we'd introduce ourselves and um, explain our um, keto journey so far. Um, and if you're part of the neurons group, you've seen posts from me. And um, if you follow Dr. Boz and have watched um, some of her videos, you may have watched uh, the video about me and my liver transformation or revival of my liver that was uh, a fatty liver and stressed out and having trouble and um, how keto helped me revive that. Um, so my journey with keto um, started really last year in November, and it was kind of a surprise journey. I had heard of keto before, but I always thought that it was a um, fad diet, and it was probably stupid, and it wasn't balanced, and no, I'm not interested. Um, but at 310 pounds, I really needed to do something for my health my blood sugars were high, my blood pressure was terribly high. And um, I have a kind of sensitive constitution. And um, I had a lot of trouble trying to find a medication that would bring my blood pressure down into manageable levels. In fact, I really hadn't. Um, and I knew I couldn't continue because it was damaging my kidneys and everything else. And I you know, I wanted to live longer, but I didn't start keto or plan to start keto because I wanted to lose weight or get healthy. I had the thoughts about losing weight and getting healthy, but I didn't plan to do keto. What happened was, is I saw a video of Dr. Paz talking about her mother and her mother's journey and how unfortunately she passed away from COVID last week. Um, she passed away in October, I believe, but this video was in November that I watched. And I was curious, was curious about this health journey um, and her mother's help with cancer. And so I decided to look up the book and um, the book is Any Way You Can. And it's the story of Grandma Rose and how she got her cancer under control and became very healthy um, and you know, lost weight and looked great and was doing well um, for the last five years of her life uh, until, he, uh, until COVID got her. And I was so inspired by the book and the science in the book that I, I felt I have to do this that this is the way I need to find my way back to health. And um, it, it was shocking when I saw the chapter in this book that said fruit is evil. I'm like, what? Is this doctor crazy? Um, but then I read the book. <laughs> I read the chapter and I'm like, oh my goodness. Um, and for me, I work in natural health care and I... I originally wanted to read the book to see if there were any tips I could give to my clients who actually have cancer since Grandma Rose had cancer. But what I found was a way for me to try and become healthy. And um, so once I read it, I basically told my husband, I'm doing this and I think you should do it too, even though my husband's a... <laughs> a tall, thin string bean and really didn't need to lose any weight. And his health was good. Uh, he didn't have hypertension or high blood sugars or anything. Um, 
but I felt he needed to do it too, because I think that the keto lifestyle is the healthy lifestyle. And so I went from reading this book and, and then when this book came out, I read it too. And then in January, um, I teamed up with some of my nieces and nephews to see if we couldn't do keto together and support each other and become a tribe and lose weight. And it worked. And um, so here I am almost a year since I first um, listened to this book on Audible and then got the hard copy and read it. Um, and I lost uh, 92 pounds. I fluctuate here uh, with keto and being on steroids, fluctuate. Um, but I mean, it is just amazing to think of myself. I'm not in the 300 pounds anymore. I'm not even in the 250 pounds. I'm below 220. And I haven't been below 220 in probably 25 years or more. And um, my blood pressure is normal. I, I am still on one blood pressure medication, but it's not a heavy one. My, my kidney values are better. All of my liver values, if you've watched that video, Dr. Boz showed you how much better my liver is doing. And I weathered COVID very well. I don't think I would have done as well with COVID at 320 pounds or 310 pounds with my liver in the condition it was and my kidneys the way they were and my breathing and my blood sugars. And, you know, I, it could have been a very different outcome if I had not gone on a keto lifestyle. So that's my story. And um, I'm going to say why I wanted to start this support group is because I'm not perfect and I'm human and I get food cravings and I get stressed and I want to eat pizza and um, I want to have cake. And I know that for my body and my health and my life, I really can't do that. And I need a tribe. I need a group to keep me accountable and to help me stay that way. It's great having a husband that's very supportive and it's good having friends that are supported and who have also gone keto and family as well. But I want a formal group. And that's why I started Keto Compact. And so now I'll let Scott tell you about how he thought about keto and how he got into it. I basically really didn't tell him very much. I just kept saying, read the book, read the book. Um, I think you should do this, but read the book. So Scott, tell us about who you are and what you do and yeah. how you got into this. Right, right. So um, I've got a, a PhD in biology from Notre Dame um, and I, I, I taught uh, general biology classes and anatomy and physiology classes, among other things at Turtle Mountain Community College um, here in Belcourt, North Dakota uh, for a number of years. Um, and so, you know, I, I had a degree in biology and I worked as a biologist for a number of years. And so, you know, when, when Becky talked to me about um, the, the, the keto diet and, and, and had me read the book uh, that Dr. Boz wrote, um, Dr. Boz goes into a lot of detail about um, the biochemistry of it, about you know how the the body system actually uh, handles carbs and how it handles uh, fats and oils. Um, and I, I you know from my biology background, I knew that what she was saying about you know the the biochemistry of it was was true. Uh, and and also, I mean, she goes into you know, a lot of the science behind it. And so if you want to, you know, if you want to study into the science behind it, you can, you can do that. You can go through those chapters, uh, uh, you know, in detail and, and, and see all the science of it, you know, or, you know, if, if you, if you don't want to go through all the details of the science, you know, you don't really have to get heavily into those chapters where she describes it. But anyway, so, 
you know, from a scientific standpoint, um, I knew that she did have a, a point, you know, um, and, uh, but, but I thought, well, you know, the thing is, carbohydrate is, has been a major part of our diet for ever since, you know, I mean, ever since the beginning, right? Uh, and so I, I was a, a bit, um, I was a bit skeptical in, in you know, in, in that regard. Um, but I, I thought, you know what, the thing is, um, this diet, uh, it's not going to kill me if I try it, you know, and, and, and Becky's doing it and, and she's doing okay on it. And, and so I thought, well, you know, I mean, I might as well try it as well, because I, I wanted to see what I would experience with this diet. And, you know, and like Becky says, you know, I've, I've been skinny all my life. And so I, I didn't need to lose weight per se. But, you know, the, all of the things that Dr. Boz was saying about it, it's not just weight, it's, it's you, you can, you can actually have less stress. And I certainly had a lot of job, job stress at the time. And, and also you can, you know, you'll, you'll think more clearly and, and be more mentally focused. And, and I thought, wow, you know, if I can do that, that'd, that'd be great. You know, um, less stress and more mental focus and stuff. That sounds good. And the other thing is, um, you know, she says that, you know, you, you can, you can avoid cancer and you can avoid dementia and stuff. And I thought, well, you know, um, hey, if, if one of every four of us is going to get cancer, you know, eventually, uh, I mean, that's a big concern for anybody, you know. Um, and the other thing is, I mean, my, my, sometimes my blood sugars would, would get, I, I, I would feel kind of shaky, you know, uh, uh, and I, and finally I figured out that, that on, on days when I would eat a very carb heavy uh, breakfast, uh, I would, I would tend to get to a point if, if I did a lot of physical activity after, after that, maybe two or three hours after that, I would get, I would feel kind of shaky. Um, presumably like a blood sugar, you know, crash or whatever thing. Uh, and, and when I say a lot of carbs, I mean like, you know, the, 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 the breakfast would consist of some French toast um, and, or, you know, and some French toast and a, a bowl of granola, you know, um, with milk and stuff. And so anyway, and, and the other thing is, you know, I mean, diabetes runs in my family. And so, you know, I, I I knew that, well, it'd be kind of nice for me to uh, be able to control the, the carbohydrate intake and stuff. So, you know, basically I, uh, and I, I got onto chronometer and, you know, researched a lot of the foods and stuff. And, and, and so I thought, yeah, you know, I'll, I'll try after reading the book and I, actually even, even before I got through all of Dr. Boz's book, um, you know, I decided, well, I might as well try it at least, you know, and so, so I think sometime in early February, you know, I um, uh, I kind of gradually started modifying my diet, uh, and um, but by by late February, I think uh, I of this year, 2021, um, I um, was was totally keto, and so and I was you know daily monitoring my my blood ketones and blood sugars and things, and uh, and um, so it it was it was great, you know, and and other benefits. I, I mean, you know, I I um, I would have a lot of gas, uh, but that totally went away. Uh, and I I had bad breath, uh, you know, as Becky could attest to. <laughs> uh, and and the thing is, you know, I I had changed my diet um, in a number of ways already um and and had cut down on the gas and the bad breath and stuff but but you know I, I mean i still had problems with that um and and so but when i went on keto that stuff went away um immediately and so you know and you, you got to figure well you know and, and see the with the bad breath i mean i could i could use you know mouthwash all day long and, and still have bad breath which means that the odor was not coming from my mouth so it must have been coming from the stomach. And the thing is, you know, if if there's an unusual odor coming from your stomach, it means that digestively something is not going right. And also the gas gas is indicating that that something in the digestive system is not working right. And so when I switched to keto and those things went away immediately, well then obviously my my digestion improved then. The other thing is um 
on keto, so I my my weight dropped uh, on keto, uh, and I, I had to get to a point where I made sure I was eating a, a pretty good number of calories per day, like 2,100, 2,200, something in that range, you know, so that my weight would not drop, you know, and 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 so that my weight is you know stable and stuff. And and the other thing about keto is that I I don't um, feel as hungry as I did, you know, on on high carb diet, which which means that uh, you know I have to make sure that I do eat enough each day because because you know back when I was you know eating you know the, like normal diet if you call it that, um, uh, I, I I would feel hungry and so that would prompt me to eat. I mean, you know, I had no trouble eating enough per day because I would feel hungry and it would prompt me to eat. But with keto, I feel less hunger. And so I have to actually, I have to um, conscientiously, you know, uh, make sure, you know, I have kind of like a running tally in my mind. Okay, have I eaten, you know, everything I, I should eat in a day uh, and the quantities I should eat it in, and so, you know, so that I will get enough calories. But anyway, you know, in short, that's that's been my, um keto uh keto experience and, and it's been great um becky do you think there's anything else i should mention well i personally think that scott's memory has been better since he's oh, yeah, been I keep on forgetting keto that. <laughs> 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 yeah. i couldn't i'm sorry it, it, i couldn't pass that up sorry <laughs> yeah i know um anyway so um, I think we'll go ahead and um, stop uh, shortly, but I do want to talk a little bit about the Keto Continuum um, book. This is the story of David. It's a pseudonym, but it's a real person and their real journey into keto. Um, this book also shares the science, um, but it's it, the science is in a very... Um, how do you call it? Not relatable, but um, easily understood manner. It's it's not heavy. Yeah. It's not like you're getting a PhD in biology because I'm not a biologist, and I don't play one on TV, and um, and I don't want to. And um, I let him do the biology. Um, but it's it's I a play good a biologist story. On Zoom every now and then, yeah, <laughs> yeah, you play biologist on Zoom, um, and come January in the classroom again. Um, the other thing I wanna mention is the Keto Continuum Workbook. This is an excellent book. It has a lot of resources to help you on your ketogenic journey, especially in the beginning of the book, it talks about your why and uh, why you want to do keto. Um, and um, then it goes into later in the workbook, it talks about your food cravings and your triggers to want to eat or to eat off keto or, or whatever. Um, these, are, these are great resources. So I would suggest that you get this book and um, start using it. I, I will refer to it um, during the Keto Confab meetings. And um, so, it, we're going to have another meeting next Wednesday, the 27th at seven o'clock. And I hope you'll join us. And um, the next meeting, I want whoever comes um, to be prepared to share their why as to why they want to try the keto lifestyle or they're wanting to change their lifestyle. And um, so be prepared for that. And Hopefully I will figure out how to download this recording and send it out as a leak and link and post it as a link um, so people can watch it and maybe you'll choose to join us next week. So thank you so much. And thank you, Scott, um, for coming on and sharing your part. Scott won't always be here, but um, he'll be here to support. And like I said, another friend, uh, Julie Tosted, will be joining us as another co-host. And I hope you'll choose to join us. So thanks so much for watching this. And take care. And hope to see you at a Keto Confab soon. All right. Good night.